Good morning, guys. Happy, what's today? Wednesday? Tuesday? Wednesday? Whatever. Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't know. It don't matter. <clears throat> it don't matter what day. I'm headed to the gym um, now, guys. So, I'm in my MLM company, and they're focusing on debt freedom, right? They're saying that, you know, they want everybody to be debt free. They want everybody to focus on clearing up debt. And here's my spiel on it, guys. They said that the average American is in $60,000 in debt. Now, that's a lot of debt, right? And, you know, we can understand why. Because people don't have enough money, you know, to pay for whatever. So they got to use credit cards. They got to take out loans. And, you know, a lot of people are not in debt, right? And, you know, I want to say, you know, I'm not one of those people in debt. You know, I paid off my bills, right? I paid off student loans. I paid off credit cards. I paid off whatever I need to pay off so I wouldn't have this burden weighing me down. But the average person, guys, well, the average American, I'm talking about Americans here, American is in $60,000 in debt, okay, each. So if you have a husband and wife, the husband and wife each, so y'all got 120000 in debt. Now, here's the thing about debt, guys, right? It only weighs you down if you can't pay it, right? So if you have a student loan that's two, $300 a month, you can't pay it, and the interest compounds. Remember that compound interest thing I talk about, right? So the interest compounds, you can't pay your car note, so they come repossess it. You can't pay your credit card, so you get all these late fees and compounded interest, right? But here's what I, what, 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 what I really, really am passionate about, guys. I'm passionate about people starting a business, okay, so that you can pay your debt off, guys. That's how I paid my student loan. That's how I paid my credit cards, literally. That's how I paid, right? I paid it off with my business, right? So when people get into business and they quit in 30 days, it's like, why did you start? Or they will say, you know, oh, this is too much for me. I'm not computer savvy. I'm not tech savvy. I'm not this. I'm not that. Instead of saying all of that, right, they can say, you know, I want to learn. I'm going to try to learn. I'm going to try to be, uh, you know, resourceful and not quit, right? Everybody wants the instant gratification, right? So this is why I tell people when you start a business, so somebody buys my Amazon course for me, I tell them, go through Take a week to go through the course. Take a week to go through the videos as many times as possible so you can grasp the concept or understand it, okay? Business is not instant gratification. Business is not a job, guys, but business can definitely change your family's life and your family tree for the rest of your life. Your job can never do that for you, okay? A lot of people wanna kill themselves right now at their jobs. A lot of people wishing they get a 25 cent raise on their jobs. A lot of people wish they had an extra, you know, two, three, four weeks vacation, but they don't because they got so much debt. The problem with having a job, guys, and having debt is that you live in check to check. So you can't pay your debt off. You can't pay your debt off. So all you basically doing is just trying to catch up on the current bills and then you get way behind and now you feel like killing yourself because you don't have enough money. This is why, guys, I I think I'm a debt freedom fighter, right? To pay your debt off, guys. Start a business. Your first year in business or your first two years in business should be focusing on paying off your debt, right? Paying off your credit card, paying off your student loans, especially student loans, because student loans, you can't even put in the bankruptcy. Okay, paying that stuff off, right? Every commission check you get, you should be paying your, your student loan off. Okay, that's why it's so critical, guys, that you set goals, right? I help my I help my students set goals for each quarter, right? Now, does everybody follow the goals, or does everybody follow what I say? No, but the ones that really want something new, they will. Okay, so your first year or two, guys, starting your business should be focused on you know what? I'm starting my business so that I can pay my debt off. Right? People want to start a business. Oh, I got this bill to pay. I got that bill to pay. Oh, I can't start a business because I got to buy pampers for my kids. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. And then, guys, you die broke. 
you die without living. I told one of my, my best friends, I said, listen, if you never build any asset, if you never build nothing, you're going to work until you die because we need money for our whole life guys we don't need money just in our 20s we don't need money just in our 30s we don't need money just in our 80s we need money until we die that's one thing guaranteed food and money we need until we die but the problem is right with with, with money right if you never learn how to have it work for you if you never learn how to leverage it you're going to literally work until you die there's a lot of people right now 75 80 years old Right? And they still work and they have Walmart and Wendy's, Target, the, the grocery store, because they can't get a better job because ain't nobody trying to hire no 75 year old person. It's sad and it's true. So if you, you you have the opportunity, guys, right? I tell you, if you're over if you're over um 50, guys, you don't have time to play, you don't got time to be skeptical, you don't got time to hope and wish. You don't, right? You don't have time to hope and wish and pray. You don't have time to do that, right? Now, if you're 30, right? Now you got time to fuck up and get your ass back up on your feet and, uh, uh, you know, continue to rock and roll. But start a business, guys. And for two years, the first two years, your goal should be focused on I'm going to pay my $60,000 in debt off. Right? The problem is people don't know how to set goals. All people want to do <clears throat> is complain. Oh, I don't have money. I don't have this. I don't have money for that. I don't have that. I don't have that. You've been singing that tune for 20 years, guys. It's time to stop singing that tune. Right? I'm not. My life is not. I live a life that I want to live. I'm going to the gym right now. Then I'm going to the grocery store. Then I got to go see my CPA. That's what I'm doing. Then I'm going home and I got to set up my course because now um, I found a platform. Well, I have a platform for my course. Now I have a link, right? Because because I use Facebook payments, but now I have a link. I'm going to go do some work um, at home. Okay? So, I'll do the fuck I want to do. Right? I'm not worried about a job. I'm not worried about getting a raise because if I want a raise, guess what? I could start another business or guess what? I could just run more Facebook advertising and get me a raise. Okay, guys, it's a different mindset. So $60,000 in debt, guys, your first goal starting a business should be how the fuck I'm going to pay off this fucking debt that's been weighing me and my family the fuck down because I can't take my kids nowhere because I'm up to here in fucking debt. You start your business. Yeah, your business might cost a couple of grand to start. Right? Your business might cost it. Especially if you're going to start an Amazon store. Right? If you're going to start an Amazon store, right? There's a basic, there's intermediate, there's advanced. If you never go to the advanced, nine times out of ten, your store is going to get shut down because you don't understand what you're doing and you never leveled up. And you think the basic is it. You know, just like being a surgeon. You know, if you go to, to school to be a LPN, that's just the basics of being a doctor. What about the advance to actually know how to do it? Then you fail, right? All my students, at least 20 of them that leveled up, they never got their store shut down. Never. They never got their store shut down. Never. Their store's never shut down because now they have the proper knowledge. People that didn't level up, now they're calling me, texting me, Tanisha, my store got shut down. Oh, did you level up? Oh, no. Well, I didn't have the money. Well, this is why. So if you would have leveled up, you wouldn't have this headache. See, it's either you're going to pay money, right, or you're going to pay time. I'd rather pay money so I won't have the headache. All right, guys, but that was just off topic. $60,000 in debt. You start your Amazon store, guys. Your first two years should be to pay that sixty grand off. That should be your goal. Then after that, now you're in profit. Now you can put up money to take care of your kids. Now you can put up money to travel with your children, with your husband, with your wife, or whoever. I'm telling you guys, if you never do nothing different, you will never get nothing different. If you never do nothing different, guys, you will never get nothing different. If you never do nothing different, you will never get nothing different, guys. Your job, guess what? They don't give a fuck about you. Your job ain't going nowhere. 
and I mean nowhere. That means that your income is not going anywhere. Your position at your job ain't going nowhere. You can't expand your mind because you can't grow. This is the ceiling at your job, right? And this is you. You can't get here because the people up here is pushing you down here. So how do you get up here? You can't. So now 20 years you stay here. Now after 20 years you realize, well, damn, I should be here, but how do I get here? And I just get comfortable staying here. You see? So but with Amazon or starting you a business, guys, you can start here. Go here. Go here. Go here. <laughs> go above. <laughs> here. Here. You can keep going. Right? Every year, guys, I make more money. Every year I make more money. Every year I grow. I'm only 34. But I'm doing bigger things than people 50, 60, 80 years old. I'm showing people how to set up retirement accounts with their own money, not the government, with their own money, guys. So I'm a force for good. I defy the odds. I set new standards. I set new trends. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Anytime I try to rise in judgment, will be condemned. I'm blessed by God. I'm chosen by God. I'm protected by God. I'm a champion. I'm a champion. I'm a champion. So guys, start a business today, now, right? Whether you're going to start MCA, MCA is only $40, and you also can make $800 a sale, okay? Or you can start your Amazon, right? Because right now, I'm, on, I'm only focused on Amazon, okay? Because I know what type of money I'm going to make, okay? I'm only focused on Amazon right now, okay? You can start whatever business, but make sure that goal is to pay off that debt, your first two years in business, guys, right? Love you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Share this, comment. Let me know your thoughts, guys. See you soon.